some of you guys might have seen, I've been posting some very aesthetically pleasing looking omelets. And honestly, they are they giving me too much credit. They're very simple. Uh, main reason I designed them this way is because there's a few things that I'm just very finicky about. And uh, one of them is has to do with cooking eggs. I can't stand watching the way most people cook eggs. Uh, so, I designed this beauty right here, and it's actually very practical, very easy. You need one of these here, and I guess this is more so for stir-fry. We got this pan in Ikea after Bryce Lewis came over, and he said that uh, our cooking tools are just not up to his standard. So, we got this. Supposed to be for stir-fry. We're going through some stir-fry phase, but uh, we use it for this more than anything. So, uh, egg whites, I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with this. That is the key ingredient. I'm going to go ahead and use three servings. Oh man, my instincts are off today. Okay, that's about three. Ha! Ah, just under. So uh, a serving is 60, so 180 would have been perfect. 177, price is right, I would have won. So one thing you need to make sure of is that it's uh, somewhat heated so that as soon as the egg hits the pan, the egg white hits the pan, it actually starts to cook. And then, this is the fun part, is the actual rotating of the egg. Look at that. Very simple. And I think part of how this kind of organically happened is the fact that um, I hate messing with my eggs. Because the more you play around and the more you, you goof around with them, the, the, um, the texture changes. Like they turn into, I don't know, they, it looks like some weird crumbly dish, uh, but doing it this way keeps them not fluffier. It's, I mean, as you can see, it, it's pretty flat, but um, makes a, a stuffed omelet easier to design, which is the final step, and you guys will see that at the end. Um, it also, it, it, you know what? Here's a big one. It keeps me from using too much of those uh, oils and so I get to keep the fat a bit lower so I hardly use much of that coconut spray and then whatever I did use I kind of just spread around the whole thing so it wasn't very much at all all right all right so as I'm getting the sides a bit crispy which you kind of have to do so once they kind of start coming off like that very complicated by the way it's much more practical when I'm not trying to explain what I'm doing but uh, as they start to kind of heat up to the point where they get a little crispy they start to unstick and that's very key for for the final step and by the way we had to edit not because something went wrong but because Melissa had to clear some room on on her phone so she's she's uh, letting us use her phone um, so thank you Melissa next up we stuff it with these three ingredients this is just what I'm using today you know you can use whatever it is you like uh, I like to use it's provolone right I think it's provolone some people call it provolone but I'm pretty sure it's provolone so provolone cheese like uh, Kevin Lebroni <laughs> so provolone cheese <laughs> you're probably gonna get chips it's one of those two. I'm going to say provolone like Kevin Lebroni. <laughs> Alright. Two cheese and then some some of that there geek yogurt, which by the way, the Costco brand, we got it because it was really cheap. It's kind of a risky thing because we are snobs when it comes to the Greek yogurt. But it's actually pretty good. I'd, I'd say it's right up there with some of the better brands. Um, and then next up, this is a pretty cool part. I think it's cool. 
is be careful, especially if you're not good with your hands. There we go. Oh yeah, we're getting there. So four folds. And I like to turn this into a square because it looks good. But not only that, it also, guess what? It makes it perfect for Sammy's. But it just looks good either way. And ta-da, how you like me now. All right. And then I let it get a little bit crispier. I flip it over to seal the deal and to heat up whatever's inside. And, um, and yeah, you have this thing that it doesn't have a name yet, but it's 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 an omelet technically, right? Um, so we're gonna so we're, we're gonna name it. And Melissa's phone is, just has so many videos of, of me primarily because she loves me. I uh, like to capture all my cute things. Uh, so it's an omelet, uh, and I think we would just call it um, call it uh, Hamlet, even though it doesn't have ham because it's art, right? Hamlet. All right, so Hamlet. Alberto's Hamlet, stuffed Hamlet, and uh, yeah, I use my hands a lot. It's one of uh, one of my many talents. Is that the fact that the because of the hook grip, I can do things like this. I have no feeling in my hands. But yeah, that's it. Very pretty, um, and I'll put it in its uh, place on the dish with a garnish of some sort and make it look extra pretty for you guys. So you guys can see just how awesome that is but yeah that's pretty much it cool cool all right so we changed our mind about the garnish instead we're going to use my friend abdullah's favorite condiment abdullah i'm sure most of you guys should know who he is by now uh, yeah so you know what and it's not going to be hamlet it's going to be we decided to change Never mind. Uh, it's going to be the egg pop tart, egg white pop tart. So two servings. There we go. Perfect. So Alberto's egg white pop tart. Man, that is bro. Enjoy. There we go. Melissa insists that I cut it open and show you guys the inside. This can totally just make or break this video, by the way, babe. And there you go. Purtiful. Everything melted. Mm -hmm. Everything working together in making this omelet a better place. And this was this is this is what happens when a woman adds her touch to to hers. This is the one Melissa made. I'm touching your food. That's okay. Yes, it is. You got no choice. Look at that. Oop, sorry. Sorry, baby. But hers has turkey. Oh, that's so pretty. I guess it's true what they say. You know, omelets resemble their their makers. Right? Guess so. Did that work? <laughs> yeah? yeah? Working? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 